welcome to Bar with Mary. Today we have an outer glutes focused class. So this is by request. You're welcome. <laughs> this is all about outer hip, outer glute work, which is great for strengthening your pelvis. Honestly, it's great for strengthening your knee too, because the knee, pelvis, ankle all work together. And so if your outer hips are a little weaker, it can be really impactful on how your knee joint functions as well. All right, I'm done nerding out about anatomy. <laughs> Join me when you're ready on all fours. You don't need any equipment. Hands under your shoulders, knees under your hips, spine neutral in your spine here. So really lifting up to the belly. Stay strong in the belly. Just lift the left leg up to a donkey kick position and start to trace circles of your left leg in the hip joint. So nothing is moving except the left leg drawing these circles. Just kind of checking in, seeing how you're feeling today. And then reverse direction, circling the other way. Notice right away you have to activate your abdominals to keep yourself from falling over, right? <laughs> That's going to be helpful as we move forward today. And then meet me back in that donkey kick position. Step your left foot forward to the outside of your left hand. Let your leg turn out slightly, so have an external rotation. So you're in this little lunge, lizard lunge position. You find a little movement here. Rock side to side. Just getting some opening for your hip. If you want to tap down on your forearms, go for it. If you want to twist and push the left thigh open gently, go for it. Try not to make this stretch too static. I want you to really move here so you can start to get an opening into the hip crease and into the outer hip. One more breath. Exhale, step back into that all fours position one more time. Set yourself up, strong belly, inhale. Exhale, right leg up to that donkey kick position and trace circles. Does not matter which direction you go because you know we're going to switch. Notice does one side feel different than the other? This is definitely my tighter side generally. And then go in the reverse direction the other way. Continue to feel how strong your abdominals need to be to keep you stable here. One more circle. Meet me in that donkey kick position. And then step the right foot forward to the outside of the right hand. Turn the right leg out so the heel is on the mat, the toes are off of it. And find movement side to side, front to back. Tapping on your forearms, twisting. Just doing whatever feels good for you here. I'm trying to take a moment to kind of connect with your body. Letting go of whatever happened before. Letting go of what you need to do the rest of your day. And knowing that these 20, 30 minutes are just for you. Big breath. Exhale. Press back all fours position one more time. We're gonna to start to move into some single leg work. Before we do anything, if you have wrist sensitivity, I want you to come down onto your forearms for this series, okay? If you are okay up on your hands, I would encourage you to stay there. It's gonna give you a little bigger range of motion. Take your right hand and put it in the center of your mat. Now spin your right shin towards the right side of the room and open up into this modified side plank position. So stacking hip on hip, shoulder on shoulder. Again, wrist issues, you can do this down on your forearm, okay? Now from here, take an inhale, and then as you exhale, engage the outer left glute and lift your left leg up to hip height. Pause here. Make sure you're in parallel. So all five of your toes are pointing in the same direction. The top of your foot is directed toward me, okay? Full range, tap down, lift up, little tap, little lift. Now this left hand doesn't have to go to the sky. You can leave it on your hip, which is I think what I'm gonna do. As a little reminder to stay strong and stable to my pelvis. So right away, you'll notice you have to be engaged in your abdominals so you don't fall over, right? <laughs> Just like we did in our warm-up. You're in a modified side plank, so your right side obliques are really active here. You're going to notice that both sides of your glutes are working. So outer hip, outer glute on both legs is really active in this series. Four more times. Three more. Two more. Last one, hold the up, trace little circles, little circle. Does not matter the direction, we're gonna go both ways. It's a tiny circle. So while your left leg is the one that's moving, you are doing a lot of stabilizing work 
on your right side. So your outer right hip should be starting to activate and talk to you as well. Switch directions, circle the other way. Tiny little circle, like the size of a clementine. Really, really small. Squeeze through your left quadricep, getting the left leg even longer. And continue to lift up through the right side obliques. Four, three, two, stay right there, inhale. Now as you exhale, pull the left knee to the chest. Extend the left leg forward. Sweep the left leg back. It's a little pedaling motion, stay slow. Pull the knee in. Send it forward. Sweep it back. Now as you extend the leg forward, do not worry about coming to a full L-shaped position. If you find that extending your leg straight forward makes you press back into that back right hip, then just come halfway and go to a diagonal. Sweep it back, two more like that. Pull it in, kick it forward. Sweep it back, last one, pull it in. Kick it forward, sweep it back, reverse that, sweep it forward. Pull the knee in, stretch the leg straight. Nice and slow, sweep it forward. Bend it in, stretch it straight. Yes, you've got it now as you move here. Continue to hug your abdominals in. Feel all of this work that's happening in the outer left glute. That's what we want. <laughs> Two more times. Sweep it forward. Bend it in. Press it straight. Last time, sweep it forward. Bend it in. Now I want you to hold that press straight and just pulse it up. Go up and up and up. Things change really soon. We're going to continue to work the left side, but we're going to lay all the way down onto the right hips. So that'll be nice, right? 16 pulses. 16. 15, maybe you reach the left arm up to the sky for this final set of eight. You've got it, eight. Get the left leg a little bit longer. Lift it up for four, three, two. Lower the left foot down to the mat. Bring your left hand down. Just slide yourself all the way down to lay onto your right side. Extend the right arm long. Bend to the elbow. Just cradle your head here. Now bend your knees and stack one leg on top of the other. Feet are in line with your hips here. Now really continue to feel the lift of the right side obliques and lining your shoulders up with your hips. Now from here, take the top left leg to a hover position. So we didn't change the shape of the leg, we just lifted it up so it's hovering. That first series we spent the whole time in parallel. Now we're gonna get into external and internal rotation. Starting with external rotation, I want you to lift your inner thigh and tap big toe to big toe and then come right back to that parallel position. You've got it. externally rotate, back to parallel. External, back to parallel. So pretty simple. Pretty, only half of your range of motion, right? We're not coming all the way into internal. I just want you to feel how your outer hip has to work to lift the thigh up and bring it back to parallel. Lift it up. Two more times and we're gonna add something on. Enjoying laying down on the mat. <laughs> it feels good. Now this time come to external rotation and hold it. From here I want you to extend your left leg straight. Bend the left knee in. Come back to parallel. Just like that. Excellent rotate. Extend it straight. Bend it in. Parallel. I'm staying slow here so that we can really focus on how the outer hip is controlling this movement. If you prefer to move faster, you can. I wouldn't say that this is really like a sweat inducing class, right? Not that I'm not warm, I am. <laughs> but really thinking more about mobility and how the movement originates. We're gonna do one more just like this. Externally rotate, extend it straight, bend it in. Now I want you to hold it parallel, take a breath in. As you exhale, we're coming internal rotation, so knee to knee, back to parallel. Internally rotate, parallel. So now your glute is working, but it's more glute med that is internally rotating, spinning your femur bone in and down, and then back to parallel. Notice if you're getting tense in your shoulders or in your face. Soften, continue to stay strong in the abdominals, and obviously strong in the glutes. <laughs> Two more and we're gonna add that kick on. Yes, it's gonna be a little bit awkward. That's okay. We're gonna roll with it, okay? So here we go, internal rotation. Kick the legs straight. Bend it in, 
rotate back parallel. You've got it, internal rotation. Kick the leg straight, bend it in, parallel. So you might notice, like me, your range of motion in an internal rotation is much, much smaller than external rotation. So this kick feels kind of clunky, kind of funky, right? <laughs> That's okay. Just try to maintain the femur bone rotating in and down. And if it's really tiny, who cares? So your foot is really kicking down towards the ground in front of you. Three more, go in, extend, bend, parallel. Double check that as you internally rotate, your left hip is not rolling forward, it's still stacked over the right. Last time, internal rotation. Send it straight. Bend it in, now I want you to hold parallel. Take a breath here. As you exhale, I want you to extend your left leg all the way straight. Ooh, that feels good. And just start to pulse your left leg up and up. You're almost there, I promise. Take it up and up. Oh, that feels so much better <laughs> than internal rotation does. It's still challenging, don't get me wrong. Relax through the shoulders. Stay long through both sides of the waist. Pulse eight, pulse six. It's four, three, two, stay right there, inhale. Exhale, sweep the leg forward just about a foot, so not super far, and one more time, pulse up and up and up. Outer left hip should be cooked. Mine is definitely cooked, you're here for 16, 15. Your final hold for this side is coming up after this. You're here for eight. Could you get the left leg a little bit straighter? You're here for four, three, Two, here's your hold, inhale. Exhale, lift the left leg a little higher. Kick it forward one more inch. Relax to the shoulders, hold and breathe for four. Three, two, Ooh, roll onto your back. Find a figure four, stretch for the left leg. Left ankle crosses over right thigh. Now you might find after all that work, this feels like enough. If you want a little more, you can grab the back of the right thigh and gently draw it in towards your chest. I would recommend a little bit of movement here to help release the outer left glute. <sighs> Amazing work. Try not to think about what's coming up next. <laughs> Big inhale. Big exhale. One more time, breathe it in. Let it go. Hug both knees into the chest. Or rock and roll yourself all the way up to an all fours position. And we're ready to come to the other side. Now, if you found it was uncomfortable on your knees, feel free to roll your mat up so you have a little bit more cushion, okay? Again, if you have wrist sensitivity, you're gonna do this series down on your left forearm. Take your left hand to the center of your mat. Spin your left shin to the wall behind you and then rotate, extending the right leg straight and opening up into a modified side plank. So here, your right hip stacks over left, right shoulder stacks over left. Take a breath. As you exhale, squeeze that right glute, lift the right leg up to hip height, pause, making sure that you're in parallel so the top of the foot is pointing toward me. You're not spinning it up towards the sky. Full range, tap the ground, lift it up. Go, lower and lift. So you can keep your right hand up if you want, or you can bring it to your hip, Honestly, you can take it wherever you want to. Feel the left side of your waist hugging up here. And then again, check in with the abdominals. You know that all of this is gonna be activating for the abdominals as well as the outer glute. So think about how you knit the ribs together. How you draw the pubic bone up. And the second side is going to feel more challenging because we already worked that bottom glute. I know. <laughs> But that is why it's important to switch which leg you start with, okay? I know it's tempting to always start with your dominant leg. We start with left today. Just to shake it up. Go three, two, one. Hold the up, trace little circles with your right leg. Now try to get your right leg as straight as you can, really squeeze into the right quarters up. If you find that you get tired in your shoulder on this left side, feel free to try coming down on your forearm. Three. Two, switch other way. Now really send the energy out through the right toes. And know that this is a pretty short series up here because I know how intense it is. 
So you get to lay down on your side in not too long. You're here for four, three, two, stay right there, inhale. Exhale, pull the left knee in, extend it forward. Sorry, what is this right leg? Sweep it straight. It'd be really hard to pull your left knee in. Right knee in, right leg stretches. Whoa, I'm falling over, sweep it back. It's just like that, except for don't fall over like I did. So as you extend the right leg forward, engage the abdominals and know that it doesn't have to come straight toward me. It can go more in a diagonal to make it a little less balance challenging. Last time, pull it in. Extend it forward, sweep it back. Reverse that, sweep it forward. Bend it in, press it back. My range of motion is quickly getting smaller and smaller. <laughs> Press it straight. Three more times. Two go forward. Bend it in. Now continue to lift up with that bottom left glute and left hip. The last time you got this, super it forward. Bend it in. Extend it straight. Here we pulse it up and up and up. Maybe reach the right arm up to the sky. We get to lay down on our left side in 16, 15. Could you get a little bit longer through the spine? Soften through the shoulders. You're here for eight. Squeeze the left quadricep. Gosh, the right quadricep. Go four, three, two. Lower the right leg. Lower the right hand and just bring yourself all the way down to lay on your left side. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> Relax your shoulders. Stacking hip on hip, shoulder over shoulder. Bend your knees. The heels line up with the hips. Now from here, stay active in your bottom obliques and float your top leg up to a hover position. So again, we now move into external rotation. Squeeze your outer right glute, turn your right leg out, bringing big toe to big toe, and then back to parallel. Exhale, turn it out. Inhale, parallel. Keep going like that. So here you feel the outer hip work and strengthen to lift the thigh bone and turn the leg out. What you want to make sure you're avoiding is rolling the pelvis open to the ceiling. So your pelvis isn't moving here. Your glute is squeezing to rotate your thigh bone open and then releasing it back to parallel. Turn it out. Parallel. Two more like this, then we'll add that kick. Last time. Now turn your leg out, hold it. Extend the leg straight. Bend the knee in. Come to parallel. Stay slow. Right thigh opens. Right leg kicks. Right knee bends. Parallel. Now as you take this movement, you might find that your range of motion starts to get a little smaller. Mine is for sure. My left leg is really fatigued. <laughs> My right leg is really fatigued. And so because of that, I feel like my range of motion is smaller than it might be another day, and that's okay. Just work within what, where you are today. Two more. Extend. Bend. Parallel. Last time, turn it up. Reach it straight. Bend it in. Now hold parallel. Inhale. Exhale. Ex internal rotation. Back to parallel. Knee to knee. Parallel. You've got it. So your right femur bone rotates in and back. In and down. And back. So you'll notice it looks like your foot is the one moving, right? And yes, your foot is moving, but your foot is moving because your thigh bone is moving. So you're really maintaining the same shape of your leg the whole time. You're just twisting the thigh bone down, which lifts the foot up. Rotate it down. Back to parallel. Two more. Last one like this. Let's add that kick. Rotate, internal rotation. Kick the leg straight. Bend the knee. Parallel. You've got it. Rotate it and down. Kick it straight. Bend it in. Tiny, tiny, tiny range of motion here for me. That's okay. I find this movement super awkward. <laughs> so if you're with me, 
yay we're on a little in a little club together <laughs> and if you're not that's amazing good for you notice as you move this right thigh is your right hip rolling forward try to keep it stacked over the left two more go in set it straight bend it in parallel last time you've got it in kick it straight bend it in parallel inhale Exhale, extend the right leg straight, pulse it up, go up, and up, and up. Now with the extension of the right leg, double check you didn't flare into the ribs or arch into the low back. Hug the abdominals in, continue to lift with the bottom side obliques, and then really squeeze the right quadricep, get the right leg even longer. Eight more pulses here, you've got eight, eight, seven, six, five, you're here for four, three, two, hold it right there, inhale. Exhale, slide the right leg forward, just about a foot. One more time, you pulse it up, and up, and up, and up. Squeeze the right quadricep, get the right leg even longer. Yes, you're here for eight. We hold in six. We hold in four, three, two. Here's your hold, inhale. Exhale, right leg longer, or right leg higher. Relax the shoulders, hold right here for four, three, Two, Ooh, roll onto your back. Figure four, stretch, right ankle crosses over left thigh. Now, you might find that staying here is enough. I might stay here for a moment and just release my outer right glute. If you want more, you can lift the left thigh and grab the back of it, okay? Now, if you've been with me a long time, you know well enough that I never finish on a single leg exercise. I always want to finish centered off. So we do have a quick spinal extension series working both legs to finish class, okay? But first, just enjoy this stretch. Big inhale. And exhale. One more time, breathe it in. And out. Release your stretch. Roll over onto your belly. Stacking your hands one on top of the other. I want you to rest your forehead down on your palms. Now, I'm actually gonna come up onto my forearms so you can hear me, but you rest your head down, okay? Take your legs apart to the edges of your mat. Now, externally rotate your legs, turn your legs out. So your inner thighs are rotating down towards the mat. Push down with the tops of the feet, or really, you're pushing down more at the outer edge of your big toes. Push down with your pubic bone, and squeeze your quadriceps so you really activate through the thighs. Take a breath in. As you exhale, I want you to lengthen both legs even longer and lift them to a long, low hover so they just barely come off the mat. Then inhale, lower the toes back down. Exhale, lengthen and lift. Inhale, lower. So you feel your outer glutes, your outer hips really squeeze as you engage through the thighs. Push the pubic bone down and lift the leg just an inch or so off of the mat. So teeny, teeny, tiny. Soften through your shoulders. Hug your ribs in and up. And really think about how the crown of the head is extending forward and the toes are extending back. Two more times. Exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Last time, exhale, lift. Inhale, lower. Now exhale, lift and hold it there. Take a breath, reaching energy through the crown of the head. Exhale, hug the abdominals in and just take little flutter kicks. Go right, left, right, left, right, left. Tiny little kicks. One leg and then the other. Relax the neck muscles. And really feel how the outer glutes have to squeeze here how the quadriceps have to squeeze to stay really long and active through both legs. You're here for eight, seven, one more variation in six, five, you're here for four, three, two, find stillness, both legs are still lifted. Take a breath in. Exhale, squeeze the outer glutes and just start to pull your heels in one inch, go in and in and in, squeezing heels towards each other. Now, they may touch, they may not. Mine don't touch, 
and that's okay. I want the focus here to be on your outer glutes, really active and strong. You're here for 16, 15. Final hold for class on deck in 12. Can you find a little bit more length through your spine? Eight, seven. You're here for four, three, two. Hold the in, inhale. This is it, exhale, reach energy out through the toes. Squeeze the outer glutes and see if you can lift maybe a quarter of an inch higher. Hold and breathe for three, two, Ooh, lower everything down, bend at the knees, and a windshield wiper the legs from side to side, releasing the hips, releasing the low back. Awesome job. <sighs> big inhale, and a big exhale. Extend the legs long. Slide your hands underneath your shoulders. Press yourself all the way up and back to a child's pose. Big toes together, knees wide, reaching the arms forward. And just releasing your seat, your hips down towards your heels. Big inhale. And exhale. Walk yourself up to a seated position. Rotate to face me. We'll take a little outer hip stretch one more time. Cross the right leg over the left. Now you're welcome to keep this left leg tucked in or if that's uncomfortable for you, you can extend it out straight. That might feel better in your body. Inhale, sweep the arms up to the sky. Exhale, twist towards the right. Hugging the right chin in towards the chest. Anchoring down through both sitting bones and sitting up really, really tall as you feel this rotation through your mid-spine. Let's take three big breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Again, breathe in. And out. Last time, inhale. Exhale. Unwind yourself, and we'll switch sides. Left leg over right. If this is uncomfortable, the bottom right leg can stretch forward. Anchor down through both sitting bones. Inhale, reach the arms high. Exhale, twist to the left. Left hand reaches back behind you. Right arm wraps around the left shin. You draw it in towards your chest. Sitting really tall. I'm feeling the rotation through the rib cage. Three big breaths here. Inhale. And exhale. Again, breathe it in. Let it go. Last time in. And out. Unwind yourself. Plant your hands behind you. Stack your feet a little wider than the hips. And then just a little windshield wiper side to side. Releasing the outer glutes, the outer hips. <sighs> Getting freedom of movement here into the pelvis. One more time either way. And then find a comfortable seated position. Inhale, sweep the arms high. Exhale, let it go. That is your class. Amazing work today. I hope you're feeling really active, really strong, maybe a little fatigued in the outer hips. As always, I'll be back next week with a brand new class. Please give me feedback, give me comments, make your requests. I love hearing what you want to see. Otherwise, I'm just some lady filming workouts that nobody wants, right? <laughs> if you have not already subscribed, be sure to, and I'll be back next week right here, same time, same place. Have a great day.